Syria has been in war for more than a decade. The conflict started in March 2011 following the arrest of protesters against the Syrian president. Since then, hundreds of thousands have been killed and millions have been displaced. A new report shows 86 percent of refugee children there do not want to return home. Joining us now is Aloysius John, Secretary General of Caritas Internationalis, which maintains a large presence in Syria. Secretary General John, welcome back. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, tell us about the work that Caritas is doing in Syria, and when did that work begin there? The work in, in Syria has started at the time when the war started 10 years back. And since then, Caritas uh, International, these member organizations, have been present with the people. As you know, Caritas International is, is a confederation of 162 member organizations, and it's a vast network of solidarity along with the church in order to help the people. And since the war, the day, the first day the war started, Caritas International has started to work with the local church to help, to accompany, and defend the poorest and the most vulnerable there in Syria. I want to talk about the Pope's trip now in Iraq. Do you think that will have or has it had any effect in Syria? Uh, of course, the, the Pope's visit to Iraq was a message by itself. So the Pope's visit to, uh, to, to Iraq was a message to the Christians in the, in the Middle East who are undergoing a lot of suffering. For example, in Syria, these people have been uh, suffering. Syrians are innocent uh, people have been suffering for the past 10 years. Hundreds and thousands of lives have been lost in this in this bloody war, I would say. And today, people are there living in very dire conditions. And this is where the Pope's visit to Iraq was also a message to the Christians in the Middle East, wherein, where they are suffering, and, and Christianity in the and Middle East is the, is the birthplace of Christianity, and this is where the Christians are suffering. But today, Caritas, uh, in line with what Pope Francis said, is also defending and helping the poor. And uh, till now, Caritas Internationalis has been giving them almost, uh, helped almost 10 million of people, Christians and Muslims alike, they've helped them. And uh, we are there in the front line on the humanitarian side, helping the people, giving them the basic needs, food, etc., as Pope Francis wanted to help them to live in dignity. As you just mentioned, really difficult situation there in Syria. What do you think the future is like for that country? Is there reason for hope? I, uh, there is a reason for hope in everything. Uh, I think today it all depends on the on the uh, will of the international community. First of all, I think the unilateral sanctions has to be looked into. It has to be now uh, stopped because it cannot continue like this, uh, because it is really suppressing the, the population. It is not, uh, it is not uh, acting towards those whom it should, it should have some impact. It's rather impacting the poorest. And today, people are living without the basic needs. And it's also diffi very difficult for Caritas to get any help into, into, the, into, the, uh, into the country. And, and that is a, a major concern for us. For example, till now, 10 million people have been helped, and every year we're helping more than 500, uh, 500 people in, in Syria, in different parts of Syria. And church is the only organization present there, and along with the church, Caritas is present. And today, with the sanctions, we are not able to help them. So if, there is, if, the, if we talk in terms of hope, I think that's the first step to, uh, step to do uh, in order to give people the dignity, what they need. Well, Aloysius John, Secretary General of Caritas Internationalis, we thank you very much. Thank you very much.